Oh god. Uh, 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 uh. Ow. Ow. Okay, that did not exactly end well. Oh no. Ow. Oh crap. That did a lot of damage. Jesus. No, no, oh crap. Come on, swing. No. Uh oh. Just dodge. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that, um, yeah, internet's not working, and I had to go find out for my sister. But turns out, Shaw's doing maintenance. So, yeah, this episode's not gonna be uploaded anytime soon then, because with maintenance, I cannot upload. So that's lame. So let's get back to the boss fight, which is kicking my ass. Oh, oops. No, 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 no. How did I press? Yeah. Oh God. No. I win. Ha ha, you landed on your ass, because I'm better than you. And we get a bunch of yen, but for time, we, we suck crab for damage. Meh, so we suck. That's not new, but whatever. So I had to fix my mic in a better position, but now... Cut that out! Leave him alone! I won't allow you to bully Taki like that. Keep it up and I'll clobber ya. Wait a sec, Tweety. We're not bullying anybody. Right, you flea bag? Come on, say something. I know, Princess Fuse summons me. It's my duty to defeat Crimson Helm, defiler of the Sh Gale Shrine. But I cannot return. This place is in grave danger. The monsters will overrun Sasa Sanctuary without me. And the Sparrow Tribe, they would all be... Oh, what shall I do? Give me your power jam. Something, then. Okay. What the hell happened? You obtained duty orb. Because you have to take a poo. What a pun. What's this? The power orb has chosen you. I need not worry any longer. I shall remain here and battle with the monsters for the Sparrow Twibe. Even separated, the hearts of the canine warriors beat as one. Huh? Hey, wait a sec. What? I have chosen you. Huh? Okay, what? I suppose it'll all make sense eventually. Alright, so we don't know what the hell's going on. That's never new. So let's go over here. And there's birdies! Oh wait. Oh no, there's bunnies. Oops. Stupid little bunnies. Why can't you be birdies? Birdies are cuter. So huzzah, we get six grays. And let's uh there's anything else we can do up here. Nope, so let's get out of here. Well, we got it the canine warrior of this place that we were looking for, so I suppose we're done here for now. So let's run up. Let's, wait, no, I already fed that bird. So let's go. Love me, love me. Why won't you love me? I got some song stuck in my head, and I just, I just don't know what it is. But I've been listening to this new song, like, well, not new song, but this remix with Barry Corsten in it, and it's awesome. But, uh, what a fabulous hot spring. Wolfie, I heard a ruckus from afar, but why don't you wash off all that grime in the hot spring? No, thank you. I prefer this to be my natural scent. Uh, hot spring? Uh, I think we'll pass. Anyways, isn't it about time for you to start looking for bamboo? Oh, you're right. The festival is just around the corner. It falls on the night of the full moon. Why full moon? Yep, Kamiki Village holds the Kamiki Festival on the night of the full moon during this time of year. You've heard the legend of how the great heroes Nagi and Shiranai... Defeated the terrible beast with the help of the gods, haven't you? 
That's why the village pays homage to the gods and sacrifice sacred tree. This year is the hundredth anniversary of the beast's defeat. I'd better finish the bamboo where I want to sell at the festival. Hot dog! I just love festivals! You did not not need to say hot dog. I lost a little respect for you, son. We gotta remember to go back to Kamiki Village on that day. Oh, and by the way, Wolfie, I'd like to give you a little something to thank you for helping in the hot spring digging game. It isn't much, but you may find it useful. Here you go. You obtained a mermaid coin. Hey, it's that coin that Chick said we can use to teleport places. Cool. Thanks, Gramps. Now I won't kick you over when you're with your cane on the ground. Whoa, that's some grubby pocket change. Where's the real coin, brah? There are many small springs known as mermaid springs across Nippon. They say you can pass between them by tossing in one of these coins. If true, if true you could break the travel across Nippon in a blink of an eye. Cool. <laughs> Really? Those are some wicked coins! They must be extremely valuable. No, not really. You can even buy them at stores around here. I only kept it because it was kinda cute. Wow. I really do want to kick that cane out of your hand and watch you smack on the ground. Cause it's like, it's like, oh, here, have this! Oh, boy, it's awesome! No, not really. I don't have much, so you'll have to excuse me. Oh, don't worry, I can rob you later if I need to, and he still wants to say more. It's almost festival season, the full moon will soon rise. It's been exactly a hundred years since the beast was slain. But I always think of Kaguya when I talk about the full moon. Oh, how she used to love gazing up at the moon. Ah, <sighs> there I go again, re reminiscing about the past. I'll end up in the poorhouse if I don't finish my bamboo wear soon. Hmm. Does that mean we have to go to Kamiki Village next? Or find those dogs? Oh, I don't know. I suppose let's go look around then, I guess, because... We're done in Sasa Sanctuary. Ugh, nose bothering me again. Gonna sneeze. Don't want to. And there's a... Waterfall around somewhere. Oh, so it's on the other side of this, isn't it? Um... Is this the exit I just took? I think it is. We'll find out now, won't we? Yeah, it is. Well, we're all good in the hood then. So let's run around and where to next? Um, hmm. Let's actually check the map then. Zoom out. Hey. Oh, Z to zoom out. Okay, we want to go backtrack all the way over there. Okay. That's a lot of backtracking. So let's go. We backtracking for the lose. Actually, is there something we can do over here in the water? No, I was hoping there was. I don't know. I wanted something to do in it. Is there any real people that live there now that we killed those demons? Eh, probably not. So whatever. Enough about looking at those. Let's GTFO. Now wait for a moment to go super speed, then we run. Hey, what's that? Oh, we already fed you. Damn it, you made me lose my run speed. You stupid dog. I ought to eat you. <clears throat> There's the guardian sapling, all happy and perky. Like if it had an erection. Well, that was not really necessary to say, but, you know, whatever. So, let's get the hell out of here. Actually, uh, someone told me in a comment that the fish and the treasure are pretty much worth selling only, so... Be able to sell that. Oh. Okay, that's the guy that wanted the thing, so let's go take it back from the moles. Okay. That's good. I guess we found a use for that after all. Huh. About damn time. That was like four episodes ago that I got that. And I kind of just left it there the whole damn time. Did I? Yeah, I did. So let's pick it up. And go bring it back to that guy. Because he wants it. And oops, I messed up running because I let go of the nunchuck. Stupid dog, I gotta bite your head off. Okay, not that crudely or gruelishly or gruesome, blah. But yeah. Let's return this to the teacup guy. What's up, buddy? Hey! That's my precious teacup, isn't it? Did you snatch it back from those mischievous moles for me? You offer teacup. 
Thanks a bunch. This is my good luck charm for doing good business. Well, one good deed deserves another. Here. Ooh, golden mushroom. What do you think? It's pretty impressive, eh? A customer of mine gave him to me as payment a while back. It's such divine error. I had no idea what to do with it. It's yours now. Anyway, Pooch, do what you want with it. Uh, what the hell is it? Okay, it's a key item, so that'll be used for later, I suppose. Is there a motion right here? Oh, there is. Good. Let's sell our crap. Hey. Blah, blah, blah. I know, I know. I already talked to you. I'll sell the fish. That's all we can do with it. Oh, wow. That's a lot of money. My treasures will go. Selling it all. I know there's a faster way to do it than this, but who cares? And we sold it all. 